the topic was chosen well before the pandemic. Uh, but if anything, the pandemic has underlined the importance of some of the themes uh, examined in the chapter. One of the issues is uh, access. Um, still, a significant proportion of the population doesn't have um, uh, a full access to the payment system in digital form. And the cost is another issue. Well, this is where the central bank's role is particularly important. Um, one role it can play is um, as uh, the operator of the infrastructure in order to promote uh, interoperability um, and also a competitive level playing field. And in addition, it can play the role of the catalyst for innovation. Um, and last but not least, it can, uh, um, uh, you know, as the overseer of the system, um, it can ensure the safety and integrity of the payment system. CBDCs or central bank digital currencies um, are another way that the central bank can play the role of the operator of the infrastructure. Um, wholesale CBDCs are similar to the existing settlement accounts, but much more topical are the so-called uh, general purpose CBDCs or retail CBDCs that entail um, uh, giving uh, ordinary users uh, access to central bank claims in, in digital form. The motivation for issuing retail CBDCs um, are uh, various and, uh, uh, and they differ across jurisdictions. But uh, judging by the reports and speeches coming out of central banks, uh, it seems that the balance of opinion is tilting uh, more favorably towards, uh, towards CBDCs. Um, currently, central banks are uh, studying the, um, the design and use cases of retail CBDCs. And the BIS is certainly a part of that effort. Uh, for example, the BIS is a member of the Central Bank Working Group on, um, on CBDCs.